Hey what's up guys and welcome to another Trailblazers episode. In my last one I did do a lot of barrows and I tried to get the Karras crossbow which I unfortunately didn't get. But in this video I do want to work on getting that next relic by doing a lot of PVMing. I do have a lot of points to get from leveling my combat stats up, doing some slayer tasks, getting quite a lot of slayer point unlocks. And then maybe in the video we can try to get that Karras crossbow again. Because I could not get the Karras crossbow, I'm just going to get the rune one. I need to get my fletching up to 69 before I can actually make it when I get the limbs, which shouldn't be too hard, it's like 1 in 25 drop rate. But uh, getting the fletching level up should be very quick as well, so should be able to get into grotesque guardians very quickly. There we go, that took me about, I would say, let me actually check, 43 kills, so not too bad for the rune limbs. Now we just have to get the fletching level, and also slayer points to be able to make broad arrows for all the arrows that I actually need. 69 fletching done and I have about 200 slayer points so I need to get 100 more and uh, then I will be able to make broad bolts and I will be able to do grotesque guardians. 100 points for making a rune crossbow and that is now the ranged weapon I am going to use for probably quite a while. Wow 100 points for just equipping it as well so 200 points if you make it from scratch. Now that I'm just working towards getting 300 Slayer Points, I'm actually going to take a Cave Kraken task, 111 of them, and with the gear that I have now, I have way better Matic defense. So I'm actually going to try to kill the Kraken boss, I have 149 Matic defense, and I should be able to get quite a few kills. There are some tasks that give a decent amount of points for I think 250, 570, 750 kills, but uh, getting that many kills right now might not be uh, what I'm going to go for. Already on kill number 14, Trident of the Seas full. I can actually uncharge this to use the charges and just use them on uh, my other Trident. And then I can just alk this pretty much. How much is the alk? 40k. And of course I get a ton of runes. So I can actually use this for uh, charges on my actual Trident. It's insane. can just do this and add 1, 5, 4, 3 and I have full charges pretty much. Second Trident of the Seas at how many KC? 64. By the way, I'm going to probably use, I have around 15k Chaos Runes now. When I get like 30k, I'm going to use them to buy an Onyx. But I also need to get very high crafting, like 90 to be able to make a uh, Fury. But I do want to use the Chaos Runes in the future on that. Finally got enough money to actually imbue my black mask. One point in the Nightmare Zone on the mode is one coin and I can now imbue it so I can actually use it for both both ranged and magic which is a massive upgrade and uh, I don't really need the Slayer Helmet now just really for if I want to get the points so it's really nice to have it. First Kraken Tentacle of the account. I'm not going to use it on my whip yet because I only have one whip. But after this task I might as well do an Abyssal Demon task. And maybe we can get one that I can actually use this for. Pretty close to the end of the task. And that is the Abyssal Whip I'm going to put the Kraken Tentacle on. So we can actually use that to kill the Grotesque Guardians a bit more efficiently. 250 points for equipping an Abyssal Tentacle. I'm not sure if there's any points for killing the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, but I do want to try to get an Occult Necklace. It is 250 points to equip one, and just killing one Smoke Devil is 250 points. And apparently killing the boss is also 250 points. I got 500 points from killing a normal one and the boss just once. The monster that has the second best chance of giving an imbued heart after the Hydra is going to give me... Nothing! Okay, I'm going to get 500 points here. I just got an occult necklace actually from a superior and I also got 95 hit points. I don't have any inventory space, I'll just drop this. But occult necklace is such a good necklace. Let's equip it. 250 points. My current points is, if I uh, click here and refresh this, 4.2k points until the next relic and almost 11k total. Broad fletching unlocked, so let's make the broad bolts and get into the grotesque guardians finally. First Grotesque Guardian kill, of course it is pretty damn slow with only 70 range now rune crossbow, 421, one second too late there, but uh, 100 points to just defeat the Grotesque Guardians and also two prayer potions, I'm actually very short on prayer potions, so that was a pretty good drop. Quite a lot faster, second kill, 319, hopefully I can actually get a unique from these, because if I do get a unique it is quite a lot of points. I actually went on a bit of a detour, I wanted to unlock Dark Mayor and I get a lot of crafting experience for this. I completed a Taste of Hope and I'm going to use the experience, which is a lot, to get it up so I can actually do the Sins of the Father afterwards. So 30,000 crafting experience, 
three times. So 90k, I'm going to go from, I think, 51 all the way to 57. Bit of a longer quest completed now as well, Sins of the Father, and I actually need to be at level 60 or above to use the experience tomes on this quest. That gives a lot of experience, 100 points by the way, and each tome use gives 15,000 experience in a skill, and that with 12 times experience is like a lot, like 200k almost per use, and I can use 3 times, so 600,000 experience, but I need to be 60 or above in that skill. And I do want to use them on crafting, because I need to get uh, my crafting level up to be able to make a fury in the future, and getting 90 crafting is really difficult. So I'm probably just going to save this in my inventory now, and I'm going to try to do some crafting leveling, and then at 60 I'll use the tome. Just use some gold bars to get 60 crafting, and let's now see how much experience this is going to be. Crafting, one book use is 180,000 experience, that times 3, and I go from level 60 all the way to level 70. 10 levels, yeah, that is so useful. The reason why I took a break from the Grotesque Guardians at around, I think, 20kc was because I'm fairly close to being able to get the last relic, and getting that would be just insane. It restores both prayer and HP when you use your uh, combat styles, so that would be with uh, also, of course, getting even more experience from everything. A massive upgrade for killing the Grotesque Guardians in itself. So I'm actually going to do a lot of things to get points now, and unlocking Dark Mayor is quite a lot of points in general from the quests and there's also a lot of things inside of the city that gives a lot of points. First I got 60 mining so I can actually mine Dale's essences. There are I think two tasks I can do with that and of course it is insane runecrafting experience if I use those instead of normal pure essence now that I have the last recall relic. But the second thing I'm going to do is get 82 thieving for actually three tasks. 75 for a gem stall, 80 for pickpocketing a hero, and 82 for pickpocketing vires, which is a lot of points in total. A total of 200 points achieved from pickpocketing a hero for 100 points, and then stole from the gem stall 100 points. So only two more levels now until I can pickpocket vires for even, I think, 100 more points. 50 pickpockets done and almost actually 83 thieving, 100 more points and I currently need 3.3k points and I'm actually going to try to defeat the Nightmare. I'm going to be using full Varax, so hopefully it will be fine. Well, with my current gear and relics, I am probably not going to be able to kill the Nightmare. I did give it a try and I actually had some Sandfew Serums from doing the Kraken boss, so that is not a problem, but I probably just need uh, more of the relics. If I get the last relic, I for sure can kill the boss, and I should also try to get the Abyssal Bludgeon from the Abyssal Sire, which I might try to kill in the near future as well. I've actually been doing a couple of gargoyle tasks, just killing the normal ones, and I have now got 1 million coins, and I'm going to use them to buy Chaos Runes, and I'm going to sell them for a Tockle, and I'm going to buy an Onyx, even though I can't make the necklace yet, the Fury, because I'm only 71 crafting. It's actually 250 points just to buy the Onyx from the store, and I, of course, need it for later. There we go, over 300k, let's buy the Onyx, and that is 250 points. And when I do get to 90 crafting, I will make that into a Fury. Quick update, at 1840 points left, I'm doing some agility now. I want to get to 72, and I also want to do 250 total laps for a decent amount of points. At 72, I can get some more points from the Hallowed Sepulcher. And overall, a decent amount of things I can do in there, get Halloween marks, unlock things, etc, etc. And I can also get a lot of points from 99 hit points, as well as 99 attack, and maybe defense with a whip. So we have a decent amount of points incoming fairly soon. Oh my god, I got the imbued heart from a superior gargoyle. I'm actually not sure if it's a task to use this, but regardless, that is such a good upgrade for PVMing. I'm actually going to upgrade, let's see. Or use it, I mean. Yeah, there's no task to use it, but wow, that is a, an amazing drop to get. Now that I both have the Occult Necklace and I have the Imbued Heart as well, which is, by the way, insane with the Botanist perk, because I have constant max buff from it, because it just never drains. So I don't even have to bring it, and I'm going to kill some Kraken bosses, because I do want to get close to 250, or get to 250 total KC for another task, and any Kraken tentacles that I can get is very good, because they drain very fast when you have double the attack speed. 
Kraken kill 250, which is going to give me 250 points. I'm not going to go for 500 kills, but some pirate boots for the last kill. And I've actually got two Kraken tentacles during all these kills, and uh, I'm going to finish off this second Kraken task on the normal ones. Of course, when I already have a trident, I get two of them. Currently just doing an Abyssal Demon task because I got those two Kraken tentacles. I do want to get two whips so I can actually use and get a total of three tentacle whips. And by the way, I know that this video might be a bit all over the place, but I really felt like when I was doing the Growth Test Guardians, like it was super, super inefficient, like almost four minute kills and with the last relic the absolute insanity of that relic the power of it would make it so easy and i could just afk my range level up and i could just slam the grotesque guardian so that's what i want to do and i'm getting really close to that last last relic Ooh, another superior a nice task getting done here 100 points for 1750 total and that is also 98 attack so when i do get 99 in that so that is 250 points 250 from hit points and 250 from 99 slayer 100 points for 50 tasks completed and also i only missed 70 points to be able to make a slayer helmet which is also some points so i'm just going to keep on doing like blood Vault tasks that are very easy good experience to get those last tasks in 250 points about to be claimed 99 attack very easy points and i am not far at all from 99 slayer every like superior blood Vault is like 35,000 experience or something so yeah, I don't have to get a, m a lot of those before I get 250 more points from 99 Slayer. And hit points is only 320k experience off. Finally, I have enough points to unlock the Slayer Helmet, so let's do that for 400 points. And it is going to be automatically imbued if I just do this. It is already imbued Slayer Helmet because my Black Mask was imbued, so it wasn't a waste, which is very nice. Some more points incoming here from 99 hit points, 250 more points, getting really close now. Last 99 for this video most likely, 99 Slayer, Granite, Maul and Dust Battle Staff from that superior, but uh, that is another 250 points. That 10 point task is actually the last one I needed for my last relic. And now I can finally unlock Draining Strikes, which is going to be extremely overpowered for the Nightmare. And I am also going to go from 12 times to 16 times experience. So let's confirm that. And I only need 16 tasks to be able to unlock Asgarnia, which is going to be so many gear upgrades. God Wars Dungeon, Cerberus, just so many good things. There's actually only 30 people on the entire high score that has a rank on the Grotesque Guardians and I'm going to be one of them now, which is on my number 50 kill. Rune to Age Sword, Rune Pickaxes. And uh, look at this loot, it is so nice. I can make Diamond Bolts, I can make Dragonstone Bolts. I get these if I want to make Granite Cannonballs later. And uh, the loot in general is very good money-wise, but uh, still no rare drop. I think 1 in 40 is about the drop rate, so I should have won by now. Finally we get a drop, and it is actually a super super good drop. I don't think it's a task, but look at this upgrade. I have been using the iron gloves, which has been the best gloves I could get. And now I have granite gloves, which are very close to rune gloves in stats. They are, I think these are a bit more tanky and less attack damage, but... They're very good. I don't think it's a task though. Yeah, unfortunately not, but uh, very nice to get one drop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the task, only four more kills, and then I'm actually going to be almost top 10 on the leaderboard for the uh, Grotesque Guardians, but then I'm going to stop and I'm going to just uh, finish these 16 tasks and unlock Asgarnia. Getting either the ring or the hammer is 250 points, but unless I get it here, I will have to come back some other time after I've already done a lot of other PVMing. So let's hopefully get the item right here on this kill. I am now, by the way, 83 ranged, and that is not a ring or a hammer. That's the final task completed that I am forced to complete in the league, and everything else is just extra. So let's unlock Asgarnia, which is going to be a massive unlock. So many good things, and uh, the quest-wise means I can get Piety which is also extremely good for the Nightmare and general PVMing. 
and there should be drops here we go of course all the god wars bosses servers for those uh, primordial boots so uh, it's going to be quite a good upgrade so let's unlock that confirm and that is all the areas now unlocked so let's uh, get into the God Wars gr grind, the Cerberus grind, and so on. Before I get into the God Wars grind and the Cerberus grind, I'm going to get a Dragon Defender. It is vastly better for damage than the Obsidian Shield, so let's get that done. After about 500 Cyclops, that is now the Dragon Defender obtained, and I'm going to show you guys the difference between the Obsidian Shield and the Dragon Defender. Let's just uh, leave here. So if I mouse over it, you can see it has like 20 plus in all the attack bonuses and it does have 1 plus strength bonus as well. But it does have less defense for sure. But uh, of course, this scales extremely well with my draining strikes and fluid strikes because if I do a lot more damage, I'm also going to self heal more and get more prayer points back. So in general, a super good upgrade. With having obtained the Dragon Defender, I am now going to start working on the Cerberus and God Wars grind. But for now, I'm going to end the video here. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now. And until next time, guys, take care.